hello everyone before we start with the tutorial let me give you a little preview of the website from where you can download the Revit families and blocks and use them in your architectural and interior design projects all of these uh, family files which you are seeing here are fully parametric and as I have mentioned here there are these windows center tables doors and also these folding doors which you can rotate at any given angle now a new addition are these sofas these are not parametric uh, these are non parametric families but uh, each set contains a three seater sofa a two seater sofa and a single seater so that uh, you can use them in your you, uh, in, in you can use them in your interior design projects and also if you want to look at the detailed design of these families and also you want to see how the what are their dimensions and how the parameters work then you can go to this tutorials tab and then watch these videos to have a better understanding of the families and from this shop tab you can buy these products now let's move towards our tutorial for today in this video i am going to create a parametric pillow uh, which you can change the size and dimensions according to your design requirements but before we start let me remind you to like and share my videos leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel and also if you have any kind of difficulty or query related to revit you can ask me anytime and now let's start the tutorial open a new family template file of generic model family in the reference level floor plan press press rp which is the short for the reference plane command and place some reference planes as you can see in the video then press di on the keyboard which is the short for the shortcut key for the dimension tool and then place the dimensions as you can see here then select this parameter and select this dimension and assign the parameter length to it and then select this dimension and assign the parameter width to it let's start with the dimension values as 3 feet by 2 feet now again select the reference plane command by using the shortcut key which is rp and give an offset of 3 inches on all the four sides as you can see then give an offset of 2 inches on the four sides again as you can see here then using the dimension tool log these reference planes in these dimensions of 3 inches and 2 inches Now select the extrusion command in the create tab and draw an arc like this. Another arc here so that it is one closed loop as you can see here and then give an extrusion and value of 4 inches click ok go to 3d and our basic structure of the pillow is like this let's change the extrusion value to 5 inches it's ok now now select the sweep commands click on sketch path and sketch the path like this and make sure to lock all the four sides of these arcs and then go to the front elevation as our reference plane is there and then draw the profile as you can see in the video after drawing the profile click ok go to the 3d and using the join command join the sweep with the extrusion and you now you can see our pillow design is complete and it looks like this 
now select the sweep and the extrusion and assign a material parameter to them let's name it fabric and in this dialog box assign the material of your choice to the pillow Open this parameters dialog box and let's create standard pillow and then create another which is the queen pillow and the third type which is the king pillow as there are these three standard sizes for the pillow pillows and as you can see in this image these are the standard dimensions for the standard queen and king pillows and let's uh, place the dimensions in the king pillow so you can see as the reference planes move the design of the pillow moves changes along with that and let's add the dimensions in the queen pillow and then let's place the dimensions in the standard pillow which is 20 inches by 26 inches So now you can use this family of pillow in your interior design projects and it is easy for you to play to create these uh, sub families so that you can easily change the dimensions without checking them. So that's all for today. I hope you like this tutorial. If you have any difficulty you can ask me anytime. I will meet you guys in the next video till then goodbye and take care and most importantly don't forget to like share and subscribe.